Hi guys! Today I want to take you around the most Instagrammable places of Palm Beach. These are also a must-see places in Palm Beach, so let's go! First one on our list, Sloan's Ice Cream. If your aesthetic is pink, this is going to be your paradise. Sloan's Ice Cream has several locations, but the very first one was opened in 1999 here in Palm Beach. Like everything at Sloan's, the decor is over the top with pink walls, twinkling chandeliers, moving trains and magical glass bathrooms. You will have a lot of photo opportunities here and you can also enjoy amazing ice cream afterwards. The heavenly aromas of freshly baked baffle coals, cookies and brownies are irresistible. An entire wall of bulk candy, fabulous chocolates, chocolate apples, whimsical gifts and fluffy friends surround you. <laughs> There are actually two Sloan's ice cream shops in West Palm Beach, but this one is right in downtown West Palm. It's a beautiful bright pink building and you're not going to miss it. And this is also a good area to start your Instagram photo journey because there's a lot of surrounding buildings that are nice and Instagrammable as well. To continue with our pink theme, let's go to the hotel that is also known as the Pink Paradise. Not only is this the Palm Beach's pinkest hotel, Colony Hotel has its own exclusive shade of pink called the Colony Pink. To quote the current owner, Sarah Venaho, the exterior in Colony Pink is an exclusive color and we worked on getting the exact right shade that will hopefully not fade with the sun and salt and will look as beautiful, as vibrant in person as she will on film. But don't think that only the pink exterior is photoworthy. Check until you see the interior and have a glass of rosé by the pool. While you are there, maybe you will be lucky enough to get to meet one of Palm Beach's celebrities and the colony's mascot, Mr. Johnny Brown. He likes to eat bananas in the silk line sombrero that was created for him by Addison Meisner, the famous architect who designed the Everglades Club. In the 1920s, he could be spotted in the heart of town on Addison's shoulder. He's a spider monkey who likes to socialize. Did you know that he once ran to be the mayor of Palm Beach? I know for sure that he will get my vote. What about you? Walking distance from the Colony Hotel, you can find Worth Avenue Clock Tower. I recommend to come here at sunset as you can take some breathtaking and romantic shots. While in the area, make sure to walk around Worth Avenue, which is said to be one of the most beautiful shopping venues in the country. The avenue's romantic vias and celebrated boutiques offer the best of resort and designer fashion, gifts, art, antiques, jewelry, fine and casual dining. They say if you haven't been to Worth Avenue, you haven't been to Palm Beach at all. Right here, you can also find the legendary Taboo restaurant that drew the likes of J.F. Kennedy, Frank Sinatra, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, and other celebrities. The bistro became the center for a trove of tales and anecdotes, ranging from one about the German submarine commander who came ashore for a couple of drinks during World War II, to the claim that the Bloody Mary was concocted one morning by a bartender at Taboo at the request of Barbara Hutton for a soothing drink after a night of partying. If I had to pick one place that is the most Instagrammable place in Palm Beach, 
It would definitely be the Breakers Hotel. First known as the Palm Beach Inn, the original hotel was opened on January 16, 1896 by business tycoon Henry Flagler to accommodate travelers on his Florida East Coast Railway. This hotel is a historic Renaissance Revival style luxury hotel and literally everywhere you look is just purely beautiful and lavish. This is one you just cannot miss on your visits to Palm Beach. Our next stop is the square, formerly known as Rosemary Square and City Place, which is an upscale lifestyle center in downtown West Palm Beach, Florida, along South Rosemary Avenue. Considered a new urbanist mixed-use development, the square is architecturally composed of Mediterranean and Venetian elements. The 600,000 square foot center contains more than 60 restaurants and stores, as well as rental apartments, condos and offices. You will find a lot of cute spots to take your photos and videos there, like the colorful stairs, Harriet Himmel Theater, fountains, and maybe get to enjoy some of the live entertainment if you come on a weekend night. If you're a big coffee lover like me, make sure to visit Pura Vida and snap some photos there as well. Both interior and exterior are very cute and they have healthy food and juices as well. To get some ocean and city views, take a walk along the waterfront where you will find many piers and docks. The city's public docks are free and open to the public. If you happen to be here on the third Sunday of the month, make sure to attend Sunday on the Waterfront event. This monthly concert series provides an ideal setting for good times and great entertainment. Listen to the hottest acts around against the spectacular waterfront backdrop. This is a perfect weekend outing and a fantastic way to relax and unwind with friends and family on a Sunday afternoon. Bring your blankets and lawn chairs, kick off your flip-flops and sway to the tunes on the West Palm Beach waterfront. Every second Friday of the month, Screen on the Green transforms the West Palm Beach waterfront into a theater under the stars. Enjoy family-friendly movies featuring both classic films and newer flicks from the spectacular vantage of the waterfront. I really like this uh, pier because you have three different perspectives. You can show the city, you can move to this side and you have more like a bridge visual, or you have like completely green you're gonna see when I move a little bit closer. It's actually really cool. So you should definitely check it out. I will try to find exact address, but it's very easy, reachable. Just walk, you know, uh, from downtown West Palm Beach. You just walk um, by the water and you're gonna easily find it as if you are to. My favorite view is from South Cove on Flagler Drive in West Palm Beach. Visitors can stroll down a 556-foot boardwalk that extends to one of the three mangrove islands within the Lake Worth Lagoon. Six acres of restored wetlands support local fisheries, wading birds, manatees and sea turtles. It's a very beautiful place to just walk and enjoy the nature. Now that we've seen the top Instagrammable places in Palm Beach, let me show you some bonus locations. A 
another place that I really like to take pictures in. It's also a beautiful garden to walk around. And I'm sorry for my hair. It's so windy here today. And I didn't actually bring that many warm clothes when I came from LA. <laughs> I guess, you know, when I thought about Palm Beach, I was thinking I want to be swimming, sundresses. But in the winter, it's not the warmest. A green oasis in the middle of the Four Arts Campus, the Philip Hollitter Sculpture Garden and Four Arts Botanical Gardens have provided a world-class garden experience to visitors of the Palm Beaches since 1938. Explore the beautiful works and wonders of renowned sculpture artists, magnificent floral paths, ponds and fountains in a tropical oasis of the two distinct and unique gardens. The garden is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the admission is free of charge. For our art lovers, a perfect location is Norton Museum of Art. Its collection includes over 8,200 works with a concentration in European, American and Chinese art, as well as in the contemporary art and photography. In 2003, it overtook the John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art in Sarasota and became the largest museum in Florida. The many magnificent murals of Florida's cultural capital tell a story of the Palm Beaches through vibrant color. Whether you're looking for the perfect selfie background or want to plan your own mural tour, here are some of my favorites, but you can find a lot of them just walking around the city. To conclude, here are a few more great locations and tourist attractions. I really like Flagler Museum, Palm Beach Town Hall and the Church of Bethesda by the Sea. This brings our journey to an end. I hope you enjoyed our tour in Palm Beach and I really hope you enjoy your stay in Palm Beach. Please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of new stories to come and things that are very interesting that you would enjoy. So like and subscribe and have a wonderful day and a wonderful trip. Love you.